Instagram? Good morning, Grandma. Good morning, Grandma. I'm going to quick pause the dishwasher that decided to get noisy right when we started. All right, Psalm 78 continued. Um, as you can probably tell, it is the morning. So um, routine's starting to get a little better. I'm still off on how I'm writing my schedule, but we'll get it figured out. Uh, Psalm 78, starting at verse 39. <clears throat> he remembers that we are but flesh, a wind that passes and comes not again. How often they rebelled against him in the wilderness and grieved him in the desert. They tested God again and again and provoked the Holy One to Israel. They did not remember his power or the days when he redeemed them from the foe. When he performed his signs in Egypt and eaten his marvels in the fields of Zoan. <laughs> Headache? Yeah. Well, eat your sandwich, that will help. He turned the rivers to blood so that they could not drink of their streams. He sent them swarms of flies which devoured them and frogs which destroyed them. He gave their crops to the destroying locust and the fruit to the labor of their locust. He destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamores with frost. He gave over their cattle to the hail and their flocks to thunderbolts. He, he let loose on them his burning anger, wrath, indignation, and distress. A company of destroying angels... He did made a path for his anger. He did not spare them from death, but gave their lives over to the plagues. He struck down every firstborn in Egypt, the first fruits of their strength in the tents of Ham. Then he led out his people like sheep and guided them to the wilderness like a flock. He led them in safety so that we were not afraid, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies, and he brought them to the Holy Land, to the mountains where his right hand had won. He drove out nations before them and settled the tribes of Israel in their tents. Yet they tested and rebelled against the Most High God and did not keep his testimonies, but turned away and acted treacherously like their fathers. They twisted like a deceitful bow, for they provoked him to anger, and their high places they moved him to jealousy with their idols. When God heard his, he was full of wrath, and he utterly rejected Israel. Guys, shh. He forsook his dwelling at Shiloh, and the tent he had dwelt among mankind, and delivered his power to captivity. His glory to the hand of the foe. He gave his people over to the sword and vented his wrath on his heritage. Fire devoured the young men, and the young women had no marriage song. The priests fell by the sword, and their windows made no lamentation. Then the Lord woke us from sleep, like a strong man shouting because of wine. He put his adversaries to rout and put them to everlasting shame. He rejected the tent of Joseph. He did not choose the tribe of Ephraim, but he chose the tribe of Judah, Mount Zion, which he loves. He built a sanctuary like the high heavens, like the earth which he was found forever. He chose David his servant and took him from the sheepfold. And the following the nurse, nursing ooze he brought him to shepherd Jacob his people, Israel his inheritance. With upright heart he shepherded them and he guided them with his skillful hand. All right, that was the rest of Psalm 78. Can you guys? Bye! 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 Uh, I love you, Graham Graham. Um, I love you, Bye! I hope that uh, we're back into a routine here and uh, you'll be hearing for us on a more consistent basis. Love you.